Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. And before I start off this video, I want to say if I sound weird or I'm a lot quieter in this video, that is because sadly I do have COVID. Um, you guys saw me kind of getting sick on Tuesday's live stream. Uh, shortly after I actually threw up, and um, I was sick Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, but I feel a lot better now. I started feeling better yesterday. Uh, my immune system's pretty good and all that. So. Just want to say that in advance. There might be a few more jump cuts than usual on this video. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great Christmas as well. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. Uh, and thank you to all my YouTube channel members. I really do appreciate it. And we're going to get right into this. Mark Watch, just remember, if you want me to go over any cards, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, Mysterion, the Dragon Crown, Lightning Overdrive here. Uh, this card is bought out, and I told people it's not a bad card to get a dollar, not only because I think the artwork just looks fantastic, but this is a card that the Tins actually missed, as well as being a Super Poly target. Right now, uh, these are 12 going up to $14. Uh, you could play this against a few decks. Uh, it takes a Spellcaster and a Dragon Monster, so... Depending on what you're playing, you might use one of your own monsters as well uh, to suit Poly because you can use on either side of the field. Just remember that. So uh, this card's a little easier to use in general because a lot of people see Super Poly as a card where it's like, well, I have to use my opponent's monsters like fully, but then I'm not getting my any advantage if I don't use both of their monsters, which is just kind of in true. I mean, if you have a Spellcaster monster, your opponent has a dragon, uh, yeah, you should Super Poly into this, especially because... Maybe, you know, yeah, you can link off with your spellcaster and all that, but it's just something that a lot I see a lot of players nowadays who use Super Poly don't realize that you can use your own mo one of your own monsters as well. So what this card does is this card loses attack for uh for each of your banished cards. If a monster uses its activated effect to special limit itself or a monster with the same type, you turn one of those special limit monsters, banish that monster. Also banish all monsters from the field with its same original type. Now, I don't know why it has the uh, 100 attack loss. I really don't know why. It just has this random gripe here. Just feels really odd, but it isn't a bad card for $14. If you got these at a dollar, and if you have these at all, I would definitely sell them. Super Poly Secret Rares here uh, from Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Uh, 16 for Unlimiteds. Uh, lightly played. First edition lightly played are 17, so you might as well get first eds. First ed near mid tier, about $20. So not too bad for secret rares. Not gonna go through every super poly, but commons are even like $8 over here. So if you have commons you're not using, go ahead and sell them. Starlight rares over here are about 170 or 175. If you have this card, I definitely would sell it. Not only because I think this card could get hit again in the future, but I think that it's better to get ultimate rares right over here. Now, ulties are about $93, uh, $94. Uh, not only, do, in my opinion, do they look great as well, but some players not only prefer ulties, but this card might be harder to grab uh, than the Starlet Rare because, yeah, it's 10 Starlet Rares in Crystal Revenge, but you're getting a Starlet Rare every case. Uh, meanwhile, OTS Pack 14, there's not really much any OTS 14 out there. Whatever we have out there is... Whoever we have, this is kind of like an old relic in a way. Speaking of OTS, at the end of this video, I will actually be opening up some OTS packs as well. Uh, again, you guys really like the openings at the end. So I want to see if I can do them and how long I can do them for. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Now, Stardust Dragon Starlight Rare is something that I like to visit every few weeks because this card just goes up and down. And because it's Stardust Dragon in a rare form, uh... One of the reasons why I said Dom actually is going to age very well, uh, as well as a Luber. Uh, I like to check up on it once in a while. And right now, 771 going up to 775. Uh, right over here going up to $800. I believe there's a PSA. Uh, AGS 9. I don't know what AGS is, but if you're paying 770 for a Starlight Rare, you might as well pay $30 more for whatever this is, right? Uh, that's what I would probably have to say. But can this card hit $1,000 plus dollars eventually? Uh, definitely can. Uh, personally, if you have this card, I would sell it when it gets to a thousand something. It could be one of the starlights that joins the ranks of Apollosa and IP. Uh, if you got this card early enough, I mean, you're gonna stay winning. 
Uh, Black Rose, Starlight Rare is something I think that could go up uh, over time as well. 512 right over here. Going up to 525. Um, you know, 550 over here. I think Black Rose is going to do very well uh, in the future as well. Uh, I love, if you guys don't know, Black Rose is actually my favorite uh, Signer Dragon. It is not Stardust. Um, I also kind of like Red Dragon Archfiend more as well. But I do love Stardust. I just love all of them, honestly. Lina the Light Charmer Lustrous Starlight Rare here. Uh, $700. Uh, honestly, I'm at the point where I'm looking at Lightning Overdrive as a set. And I'm kind of going, hmm, this set might have not been the best throughout the game in its lifetime, but it's had a fair share of bangers. I mean, 700, 500. You got Starlight Frost at 200 here, but this card has been hyped up before. You got Book of Lunar Eclipse. This card got hyped up once finally, but 70 bucks. And then you have Baja Teal. So you have one medium Starlight where I'd say two great ones and then two awful ones. Uh, seven dollars for your diviners. I mean, look, if you guys are gonna get diviner first at OGs for seven dollars, that's a pretty good investment. You have the crown. Uh, you have the the bloody rose dragon. I'm still not gonna call it ready. Uh, but this set, you know, it sucks because if it had a few more picks, right, a few more decent cards as well as it wasn't reprinted like crazy. Did Arla Nico ever get reprinted? No. So, they skipped over the Amazement stuff. So, that's something... Amazement could get support in the future. So, if you want your Amazements for cheap, you know, $2 for Arlen Eco is probably $1, $1.50 for the ticket here. Uh, once we find the ticket, I mean... Yeah, everything here is just very, very cheap. Uh, yeah, about like a dollar here. Uh, I would actually get this set even sealed, but... I mean, Starlight Rares, if you're able, if you feel like gambling on the Starlight, I would just most likely buy singles. Uh, this set's just, I think this set was better than a lot of people gave it credit for, but reprints killed it, man. Machine of Force Secret Rare, uh, these are about 6 for lightly plays, going up to 10, then 18, going up to 55? I don't know why people are buying this card, uh, all I know is this card's not that great, Machine, I actually... No Machina well. I think that you ran one, but I don't know if you have to run it this card at one anymore. Uh Ancient Gear Fusion, uh from Legendary Duels Ancient Millennium. Uh the OGs for near mints or lightly plays. Uh about two bucks here, going up to three dollars. Not too bad for original ultras. You do have the secret rares look which look really nice at about a dollar. Uh personally, I think originals are going to age a lot better value wise, but if you're looking to play this card. Secrets probably look a lot better. Drill Warrior Ultimate Rare. 25, 26 for Unlimited. First edition lightly plays are 38, going up to 45. Uh yeah, no thank you. Uh Secret Rares. Uh this card has been spiking up like crazy. Uh three going up to five, six dollars. This card was like 50 cents, no joke. Uh last time I went over it. Um I don't know why this card's been uh, spiking up recently per se, but maybe it's just because now it's a collector's card. But this has been moving a lot. Like, we're seeing in November or October. It's moving a little bit, but like in the last week or so, it's been going up like crazy. Then you have the Ultra Rare over here, uh, which doesn't look too bad. Uh, two bucks for Unlimited. Really not awful for an Unlimited Ultra. First, I'd like play for 250 Honestly, this is not bad for a Joel, Joel Warriors. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon from Forbidden Memories. Uh, a card that's kind of dear to my heart. I actually really do like this card and this version of Red Eyes. As well as, when it comes to game foiling, I'm kind of weird with it. I see it rarely, so I kind of like whenever I see it because it's something new. But... It's definitely something of the time. So even like if you even find messed up copies, I would even go ahead and grab them if they're very, very cheap. Uh, cheaper than this, mind you, because you can just flip it for some money. And people do buy damaged, as you see here. And even like spending $50 on toilet paper right over here. Uh, you know, $52.45 for mob play, uh, which is just crazy to me. Uh, mm, light plays, 100 bucks. I'll be honest with you, this copy at 100 is really nice because it goes to 114 going up to 125 uh, right over here. 
near mints are about 195 250 um and yeah there's no psa sadly but card does go up people are just fiending for any copies they could find of this card i really do think that this is actually a very good find um if you ever find them for cheap or all that i actually want to go over a specific yeah i want to look over this blue eyes real quick uh because kind of the revenge now i'm not a fan of the stone tablet but i do like this version uh light plays are 28 dollars going up to 32 going up to 42 43 very quickly here uh near mints are going to run you about 50 62 80 dollars you know i always told people to get this at like 25 to 40 and this card it just goes up and down even if you see like the three month cycle it's like really up and down you know the six month cycle it gets even wackier which is funny because if you go to sales i mean people are buying copies i mean just in december i mean look at all these copies that are getting so sold uh mob play for ten dollars that's actually quite good uh over here in fact i want to see what mob plays do they have over here yeah mob plays are like 20 bucks right over here so you might as well just get those lightly plates for eight dollars more but yeah mob plates were well there's a french mod play here but when it comes to these older collector cards uh when you get in a different language collectors just don't like that they like it in english usually mystic swordsman level six ultimate rare here first i bought for about eight i remember everyone their mother having this card uh first in life plays for 13 near mints are going to run you about 33 well yeah 33 35 dollars going up to 47 for your mystic swordsman uh four which is the one i like a little bit more personally uh these are about 48 for my play 58 57 for light play uh then we have no near mints are you joking me huh it's actually quite crazy uh mystic swordsman level 2 ultimate rare here now this card i will say is actually a card that is cited in gold format so this is probably why it's gonna be more expensive uh where are first editions at first edition light plays are 90 okay going up to about yep just 90 uh near mints are gonna run you about 200 dollars. yeah that's i'm gonna pass on that uh Fedrer here 67 today nothing to really say but unfortunate uh 22 for your unicorns uh medolce angeli also before i finish this mark watch i want to say thank you guys so much for being sub to the channel uh as well as being how should i say this patient with me in the way of you guys have watched me throughout the months have steady improvements uh for example this mic right over here uh and just improving my setup and videos slowly but surely uh as well as supporting me either through affiliate link or youtube channel membership or even watching my video while i'm sick you know i really want to give you guys a video and i am feeling a lot better so next week i should be uh pretty good you know for at least next tuesday's live stream if i'm not i'll cancel because i know you guys don't like seeing me like that but pretty sure by monday morning i think we'll be all good now medulce man angeli uh from primal origin yeah four dollars for your limits here now first edition so you got about 31 listings six bucks right over here uh going up to about eight dollars now you do have secrets here at 32 listings as well going up to four dollars so if you don't have your angelis well these these are definitely going to go up in the future uh queen tiramisu ultimate rares here uh oh wow they actually have dolce's right over here the best row oh this is from 2021 though uh i actually think uh dolce's are pretty good road deck right now um i've seen how they play with vernicillate uh it instead of doing like the huge combos it's a lot less now but it's definitely very interesting and they do play d shifter which is like very it's something surreal to me because D Shifter could screw you over pretty badly. But Dear Mints are $50. Very good for unlimited $50. First editions here. Dear Mints are about $100. That's actually really good. Uh, 105 120 now. Usually they're 120 140 So if you want cheap first set, Tiramisu, it's been on your list, which you guys know I think this is the best rank for the game, period. Uh, go ahead and grab one. Salon, desperate need of a reprint, eighteen dollars. Then you have Pudding Sus from Cross Souls. Uh, unlimiteds are about five, seven dollars here. What are first editions at? Eighteen listings. That's not that many. 
six going up to about nine. In fact, if we go near mints here, it's 11 listings. So get your original chocolate a la mons while you can because uh, they are slowly but surely going up right over here. And then what are the reprints really quick here? Reprints, 51 listings. About 240 right over here going up to $3. That's not too bad here. And then Pudding Cess, your very expensive garnet uh, that I paid, I think, $3 for back in the day. Uh, and this this was played at 3 because this was actually the... When Return of the Duels first came out, if you guys don't know, uh, Medolce's actually had to run two or three copies of this because we just had... It wasn't until Abyss Rising where the deck had more of a friction. But... First is light plays, 35 going up to 40. Near mints are about 51, 52 dollars here. Not too bad for your play excesses. So I will see you guys in a second here for uh, the OTS opening. But if we can hit like 100 likes on this video, that would be great. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please by filling down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. We are like 17 subscribers off of, I think, 3,500. So, if we could get that by the end of the year, that would be great. So, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in just a second here. All right, and in today's opening, we got some more OTS. We're going to start with 19 because this one's easily the worst uh, by far. Although, if I pull an ulti here, that would be pretty nice. And I pull a token. I mean, they gave two tokens in OTS 19. They were neither Sword Soul or um, Adventure. Crazy. Well, I'd rather have an ult from 18 anyway, so that's fine. Contact C, not a bad super to have overall. Uh, Monk of the Tenny is probably the best super to pull right now. Uh, so hopefully we can get something like that. Uh, let's see here. Another common, so same common, so maybe Contact C again. Nope, Token Collector. Uh, it's funny how good this card was, and then... What Sword Soul disappeared, that card disappeared as well. And because we have links, Konami's going to be a lot more careful with um, how they handle anything that involves tokens in the future. Uh, we got Kagamusha Knight over here as our super. Not Nothing really great there. And then for the last pack here, Ulti Zeus, that's what we're going to hope for. Oh, well, we got our Monk of the Teddy, which is the best super right now currently. So I can't be too upset, especially because I just found these OTS packs randomly. Uh, I don't even know where I got them from. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, probably after Christmas.